guys i want you to see this video before i start you know talking about a lot of things in this uh, video they do ever do road where we say the drainage go stop at that dead end. Nothing there. This granite, this uh, uh, the drainage go the see so concrete uh, road no day. I don't know where they go carry plaster, the plaster wall road no day. Nothing there. See the ground. They do and come call it dead end. Nothing there. Carry the video. They come where you show me this thing. Waka they come. Wabe to the Quran. Wabe wabe wabe. Carry my mother, bro. You go do road. If they want to road, after you pour that slash, you go post them. See road, though. See my hand. Now the road where they do be this. See the road. Now me. See. Now my bare hand be this. See him. You they see him. This motor work out for this thing now. The very day go remove him. You they see him. Now my hand that take the open and so. Now our community be this. Which kind of be this one? I know. Say they go say the one where our people do. Where well, people do see it already, they you not do. But that rubbish way that they always talk say our bread is better than none. I kill Nigeria college today. So if you want to do something, do and where you not put stone base, you not put anything. At least now somebody award this contract. You should look at the contractor that is doing this job. You not go do anything. Then you will say eh, they don't do it at all. All right, guys. Before I jump right in to talk about this, and because this is what we are facing in Nigeria, substandard contract us you know doing some kind of shabby jobs before i start talking about that i want you guys to kindly subscribe to my youtube channel hit the subscribe button below the bell notification icon to always get notifications each time i upload my videos but if already subscribed thank you for subscribing and make sure you share my videos across social media platforms so that others will get to see what is trending and what we are talking about on social media guys i have a lot of things to actually talk about you know ranging from asari dokubo what he uh, actually said about in Abdikano that is getting some people raging already and uh, i still have something on um you know um, a particular person has come out to you know speak against uh, the actions of um, some uh, you know nepal personnel that is a phc cn officials you know that is something and this man was almost pushed off a ladder and almost um, you know got injured at the end of the day and i want to talk about that because uh it's like a lot of anger is going on in nigeria right now some people are not happy with the things going on in this country and uh, you have to understand that uh, when it comes to like you know government property a lot of people don't take it as their own and that is quite uh unpatriotic for most people yes a particular in uh, in igara edo state you know particular contractor was uh, awarded you know to construct a drainage and a road or uh, in that particular uh, locality and he the person did the job without any standard and that is quite disturbing and that is why you find some people responding to that yes this person is a heartfelt nigerian is a hearty nigerian you know is trying to like you know express his frustration his feelings about what this person uh, has done you know um, concerning the project or a contract awarded to him or her if it were to be uh, a great or a good country i think uh, the contractor will be arrested at the end of the day and made to face the law but because nigeria you have contractor awarded a contract and then you the people that awarded the contract we go after the contractor to give them some money from the contract and at the end of the day the contractor cannot execute the project you know perfectly well and uh, at the end of the day also the people that are supposed to you know bring this contractor to book they won't say anything about that because they've eaten out of that and that is something we first seen you know from time to time you find that most roads most projects they don't last 
uh, a season and that is quite disturbing and i think we need to look into that as a people and start finding solutions to things like that yes asari dokubo is mocking out uh, you know namdi kano he actually says something i promise to smoke you out asari dokubo mocks i pop leader namdi kano after he was arrested in kenya by the nigerian authority and that is quite disturbing and many people are now accusing kenya you know for betraying Nam the canon and saying that is absolutely wrong and uh, what do you have to say about this you know uh this guy uh has an issue with uh Nam the canon believing that Nam the canon is you know kind of uh, ripping on the ignorance of most ipop faithfuls or most beer friends and then using that to manipulate them into uh what they are doing right now and that generated a lot of reaction conflict uproar between them and at the end of the day namdi kano ran away from this country jumped bail and was arrested recently and now asari dokubo is saying a lot of things about that let's try and listen to him you know the lie when i stated it last year leading to the election you were so cowardly not to be to to to, to respond to me you send your followers to respond and they said a lot of things i demanded provide the evidence i demanded 200 million from you i've never been a member of ipob you gave me 20 million i produce it tell us now is it my bank transfer is it my cash who brought the cash to me so please i'm waiting produce the evidence if you cannot produce the evidence i'm not in doubt i'm not surprised that you had always been a liar and you continue to be a liar so there is no no nothing about it i'm not surprised at all but i want to state that you are being a con man has been established what job do you do what work do you do you call me a pipeline protector a eh, pipeline protector are paid now they are paid big 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 money you where are you working who is paying you where do you get the money to galavant everywhere does money do you pick money or you print money or does money work from ever you call me a pipeline contractor yes pipeline contractor we make billions so you which one are you doing because you must have a job to earn an income you said i am a pipeline contractor so i am earning legitimate income so where do you get your money from guys what do you feel about that i need that in the comment section so that we can talk about it further before i jump off i want you guys to kindly subscribe to my youtube channel hit the subscribe button below the bell notification icon to always get notifications each time i upload my videos but if already subscribed thank you for subscribing and make sure you share my videos across social media platforms